All right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Ready to rock and roll. Get back at it again this week. It is June 5th, 2023. This is the Lang Trading Chat Room. All right, guys, as always, before we get started, it's going to go something like this. I'm going to start off with the market bias, take a look at the SPY and the QQQ, uh, determine which way we think the markets are going to head today. After that, I will review the favorites list on the right-hand side of the screen right here. Once we review this list, it will be time to start day trading. So that is what we will do. We are day trading these stocks. We are pattern traders, so we're not going to blindly buy uh, or sell any of these ideas. We need a pattern to trade, so that is what we're going to wait for. So uh, before we get started, you guys know, we always got to talk about money management. Money management is the name of the game. If you don't manage your money properly, you will have nothing to trade. And well, as a trader, you're going to need something to trade with. So got to practice money management. You got to protect your risk. Uh, do so by starting off with very small risk, maybe 5 to $10 per trade. Then you incrementally work your way up as you get more consistent. If you need help with money management, if risk management, uh, trade planning, whatever it may be, uh, make sure you check out the Lang Trading Discord. We got some great resources in there. You can get some personalized feedback as well so make sure you check that out and uh, with that let's get started on the market guys so uh, first up the spy gapping up just a little bit today uh, basically a flat open on the spy in the queues minor gap up on the spy minor gap down on the nasdaq so a uh, pretty neutral bias this morning pretty neutral bias i am leaning towards the bear side just because we are up uh, two pretty big days so we have some room to drop wouldn't be too big of a surprise if we pull back here uh, the queues had a little bit more consolidation, so they're not as extended, but uh, definitely some uh, room to drop here. Maybe we see 352 today, uh, maybe lower, but going in with a pretty neutral bias at the moment. Uh, like I said, just really flat open, a little bit extended, so leaning bearish, but all in all, uh, this thing could definitely go higher. So pretty neutral, kind of a wait and see sort of bias. We got quite a few long ideas, uh, not a whole lot on the short side, so. Uh, the, long, the list right now is looking a little bit on the longs, but we'll, like I said, we'll see what happens. We'll see if the market ends up uh, getting over yesterday's high. We're at 429. So we see 430, or we'll see if we pull back here today. So uh, let's start going through this list right here. So first up, we have Pan W, Halo, Halo Alto Networks. Uh, so this one's actually a pretty nice gap, guys. Gapping over multiple pivots here uh, and a nice strong uptrend, I believe. This may be, yeah, this is an all time high on this uh, Pan W. So there's no resistance holding it back. It's not super extended. It's only gapping up like 5%. So this is a really nice gap, guys. I like it quite a bit. Keep an eye on this Pan W for sure. Uh, next up, we have Apple. So Apple's gapping up. It is just below all time high at that 183 area on the Apple. So uh, if we get over that all time high, expect a little bit of a pop. Expect some buying up here. So. Uh, definitely keep an eye on it. Be mindful that that is the all-time high right there at 183. So uh, really not going to try to buy it below that area, but I do like it uh, on the long side for the Apple. Uh, next up, we have Tesla. So Tesla's gapping up a little bit extended here. I mean, it's had quite a few green days in a row, uh, but now we are gapping up just over that pivot right there, just over this pivot right here at 217. Uh, so I guess we're just under that pivot, 217.65, but nonetheless, we are gapping up into this void, uh, so keep an eye on the Tesla. Definitely can see this thing going higher. Uh, be mindful, though, like I said, it is a little bit extended, but uh, for all intents and purposes, should have some room to run on the Tesla near. All right, next up, we have Oxy. There it is. Oxy. So all the, there's a quite a few oil stocks gapping up today. I thought Oxy looked the best. It looked like it's in the best void. It is right at that flat. 50 period moving average on the hourly chart. You can see here if you zoom in a little bit, uh, there it is. So, and it's a, below a little bit of support here at 61. So this thing's going to need to do a little bit of work before I'm super interested in it. But I do like this gap. I think it's gapping up better than some of the others, like MRO, Exxon. Uh, these are all kind of gapping up uh, into a little bit of resistance, not as much void on these other oil stocks. I will be keeping an eye on them if we do end up getting some strength. Uh, out of the oil sector, I might add a couple of these ideas to my list, but at the moment, uh, just going with the Oxy on the favorites list there. So next up, we have OPCH, Option Care Health. 
All right, so this one's gapping up over a nice little consolidation. Gap down, rallied, consolidated. Now we're gapping up here. Uh, we have some resistance, guys. Right here at 30 bucks, definitely an area to be to watch. What was resistance became support. Now we're coming back into that area with some moving averages here. So be mindful of that. Maybe you get a little move up to that $31 area, uh, but you're going to be fighting through a lot of moving averages. So not a ton of range on this one. Uh, keep an eye on it, though. Uh, yeah, there's the OPCH. I'm, like I said, I'm not a huge fan. It's ran up here at 31 in the pre-market. So uh, I'm going to watch it, but it has, has a few reasons to not like it, you know. Uh, what else? Yasuki, you're watching ZG, Zillow Group. Uh, what we got here? The gapping up. Uh, no, it's not doing very much in volume in the pre-market. Uh, if it gets over this $46 area, it does look like it's uh, going higher. So, yeah, you can keep an eye on this. Not a bad idea. I'll throw it on my backup watch list here. Uh, yeah, over this $46 area, not too bad. Like I said, it doesn't have any volume right now in the pre-market, really. So, uh, you're going to need to see some volume in that and get over 46 But if it does those, it looks, it looks like it could go higher for sure. Uh, so next up on my list here is AMD. So AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, uh, gapping down. Uh, that's a little bit of a gap void down to about a 110. So we got like five, six bucks to play with, uh, more than enough range to find a trade. So keeping on the AMD short, I do like it down to that 110 area. This is a bit of a stronger stock, so uh, be mindful of that. But for, for the most part, it should have a nice little void, a nice gap down to uh, 110 there. Uh, next up, we have ETRN. So ETRN, this is another uh, oil gas related stock. Uh, nonetheless, though, it is gapping up, gapped up, kind of a little bit of consolidation. Now we're gapping up again. Uh, maybe we got room up to that $10 area. This is a little bit extended here. I mean, that was a pretty wide gap, 36%. So I mean, we're up about 50% in like less than a week. So this is definitely extended. Definitely something to be uh, cautious about, keep in the back of your mind. But nonetheless, it does it is gapping up. It does have a bit of a void up to that ten dollar area, so we will keep an eye on it. Next up, we have Don Day One Biopharmaceuticals. Uh, so this one's gapping up over pretty nice consolidation right at this uh, red bar pivot right there. So we definitely want to stay over that pivot. If we do that, we should have room to run. I mean, there's really nothing holding us back to like eighteen bucks. And that's like three dollars away, so uh, the range should come into play before we even hit resistance there. So keep an eye on this one. Pre-market's looking a little bit funky, uh, but maybe if we get a, a little position over that fifteen fifty area, run it up to like I don't know sixteen seventeen bucks. Next up, we have Amed, another health services. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that company. Uh, but nonetheless, we're gapping up over another nice consolidation over a pivot right here. We are right at the 200 period moving average though. So that is definitely an area of resistance. Uh, if we get over that spot at like $90, maybe you get a little bit of move up to like 92 or so. Doesn't have a whole lot of range. Average range on this thing is about two or three dollars. So another one, kind of a backup idea, but uh, worth having on the list. Next up we have IMGN. So uh, big gap up from about a month ago. Nice consolidation. Now we're gapping up over that consolidation. So I do like this one. Don't believe. Uh, yeah, there's really no no real pivot here that we got to worry about. Some stuff from like years ago, but uh, for the most part, looking pretty good. Should have room to run over that fifteen dollar area. So uh, watch it over there. Uh, yeah, fifteen bucks is really the the area I want to see this thing over. If we get over that spot, definitely keep an eye on it. Definitely has a little bit of room to run, uh, doing pretty good volume in the pre-market. So watch the IMGN. Good morning, Daisy. How are you doing today? Fine day. So got a few backup ideas here. Uh, Riot, pretty mediocre, gapping down, but it's got a lot of consolidation, a lot of junk there. So not a big fan of that one. And then this FRO is gapping down as well, but it's right at the 200, right with a little bit of pivot support there. So for the backup longs, got a few ideas here. Oh, Oxy's going up here. Uh, I'll run through these just real fast. The market's about to open in just a minute here. So Ford gapping up under resistance. CCL gapping up, uh, not clearing the pivot from Friday, but worth a watch over that resistance. Uh, rig gapping up a little bit, a little bit extended. One of those oil stocks to keep an eye on. 
This AIV is gapping up with no volume. It's SSYS, uh, it's pretty thin volume, was gapping up earlier. CVX is just one of those oil stocks, and ZG, that was your idea, Yasuki, so not bad on that one either. So got a few good backup ideas. Like I said, keep it on that oil sector. If the oxy ends up going higher, keep it on this whole crude oil sector there. All right, so markets are open. Markets are open. Let's get down to business, guys, all right? All right. So, yeah, as always, if you guys have any ideas, any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you throw them up in the chat log. We will get right to it. Guys, Tesla's moving higher pretty early. Tesla's making a nice bullish move. Markets are uh, spying Q's kind of chopping around, looking like they're going a little higher. The NASDAQ moving up a little bit here. PNW is pulling in. Apple's pulling in a little bit right now. Uh, Apple's really, I'm not concerned about Apple pulling in actually. Bouncing off that 182 area. Uh, I mean, if we get a pattern up here at all time high, like this pre market high right up here, I will like that a lot. So keep it on Apple still. Uh, Tesla's doing good, like I said. Oxy's kind of chopping around. I mean, it's right at that 50 period moving average. So expect a little bit of chop. I'm not going to want anything to do with this until it's over that $61 area on Oxy. OPCH is uh, chopping around a little bit under resistance. AMD is moving up so far. ETRN doesn't even look like it's open yet. Uh, Dawn moving up a little bit. AMED is right at the 200. That one's going to be tough. Uh, watch this IMGN, guys. IMGN. It's looking, looking pretty nice off the open. Keep an eye on that. I think Apple is still one of my favorite ideas. I like this Apple a lot. Putting in a nice bottoming tail down here. Moving on up. Uh, keep an eye on the Apple, guys. Keep a very close eye on Apple. AAPL. Spy is going higher. Q is going higher. Watch Apple. Watch Apple. This is my top watch right now. Apple and Tesla. Apple and Tesla are my top watches right now. Nothing to do with them just yet. Stay patient. Hold on. Uh, I'm about to put this IMGN on my list as well here. IMGN is going over OPCH. All right, there we go. I'm going to keep it on that IMGN, guys. I like this one. I do like IMGN. Needs some sort of rest and sort of pattern, but uh, definitely worth watching. Definitely worth a watch on that one. Uh, guys, Apple. Oh, it's up there at the all-time high. It's up there at all-time high, guys. Watch Apple over 183. I like it a lot. Apple over 183. Keep a very, very close eye on this. Definitely my top watch at the moment. You probably go... If you wanted to, you go high the day by low the day. I'm not going to be that aggressive. I'm going to wait for a little bit of a better pattern, better entry. Don't know if we're going to get it. Might just keep ripping higher here, but uh, I mean, if this bar doesn't break at one, like right now, if this bar does not break, I will be putting an order in. So we got about 40 seconds or so before that happens, but let's look a little bit of level two right here. A little bit of buying, selling. See, sometimes level two is really nice, sometimes it's not. Like that, it didn't really, level two didn't really show up on that, so. Stay patient, guys. I think we'll get. I think we'll get a chance to buy some Apple today. I do. I think we'll find some sort of trade on that. It's ripping right now. Like I said, if you want to be real aggressive, you could have gave it a dollar stop loss. You got in over that all-time high, but it really wasn't a good pattern. It really wasn't a pattern at all, honestly. But uh, just kind of buying the strength. Whoa! What's going on with the spy? What is this? This is a nasty top and tail. Wonder if that's just a bad take or something. That's interesting. Very interesting on the, the spy. Uh, nonetheless, guys, Pan W still looking all right higher. Still like Apple quite a bit over that high today. Tesla as well, guys. Watch Tesla up here. Uh, need a little bit better of a pattern, but over 221, we can watch the Tesla. Oxy is chopping around. IMGN, same sort of thing. Uh, ETRN is looking real thin, not even open yet, basically. 
gone. Amen. This amen is not a horrible idea, but just be mindful. It is right at that 200 period moving average. So uh, maybe you take a little one minute wedge right here. But guys, Tesla. Tesla over 221. Very interesting. Like $1.60 on the stop loss. Watch Tesla. Watch it. I like it. I guess I would really like it. This this bar right here doesn't go. I don't want to rush into this thing. It's really not a great breakout. But if we get one more bar, then it would be. Then it would actually be a good breakout. Apple needs just a little more rest here. It's like a very, that's a pseudo three bar play. Not even really a three bar play there. Uh, Tesla's peekaboo over 221, pulling back. Oxy's getting a little whippy. Oh, yeah, like I said, I don't really have a whole lot right now. Good morning, Steve. How you doing, my man? How you doing? It's a fine day, isn't it? It's Monday. We got a full week this week. First full week in June. It's going to be a good month. It'll be a good month, I got a feeling. You looking at IBM, Casey? Let me check out IBM for you real, real fast. A long at 133. She's getting in up here. I like that it's getting in over the 200, kind of making that. It's really in a stage three, not a whole lot of direction. Micro might be getting that micro stage two. Uh, stop loss at 127, so very safe stop loss under these pivots. Target to 143. Yeah, I like that. You might have a little bit of a hiccup at 137 where this previous resistance was, but up to 143, it's a pretty solid spot there. Maybe another little resistance at 140 where that support was, but I do like this. Pretty safe stop, pretty reasonable target, and a nice trend. Solid trade on the IBM. I like it. I like it. I don't know if I have any, uh, any critiques at all from that one. That's a good one. Uh, Apple guys, man, this Apple. Well, that would have been not quite a full target if you did the one dollar stop loss. Tesla's pulling in pretty good here. Markets are pretty choppy this morning, actually. We got that's some real nasty camp. Excuse me. Uh, one of these big toppy tails, just pretty wide range bars, so. Be careful this morning, guys. Looks like market's a little bit whippy. Moving up, maybe pulling back. All right. Pan W's kind of pretty sloppy. Apple's still hanging out. Apple's still my top watch. I really would like to find some sort of entry in Apple. I like it a lot. Uh, Tesla, maybe. So buy setup's getting a little bit aggressive here, but. Uh, you could consider a buy setup there. Oxy. Oxy needs to get over high today. It needs to get over 61, really. That's what I'm looking at on Oxy. IMGN is hanging out. AMD looks like it's going higher today. Alright. So, no, no great entries at the moment. Just going to stay patient. Wait for one of these trades to actually give us something worthwhile. I'm gonna check my backup short, see if you, these guys are working. Doesn't look like it. The backup longs. Nothing's real interesting here. Yeah. The ZG just you know, chopping around under resistance there. All right. So yeah, what I got on my list is probably the best things out. I uh, like. I do like Oxy, but I, like I said, I want to see it over 61. I'm not getting in under the slop right at the 50 period moving average. So I'm just hang out with the Oxy for now. Let's see what the other uh, oil stocks are doing. Exxon kind of hanging out. Tomorrow down a little bit. Looking at AEHR. I'll check that in just a second, Casey. Uh, 70 cent stop loss right now. It's not that great, actually. Oh, man. We got plenty of time, guys. We got plenty of time to find a trade on one of these. Nine minutes into the day. All 
right. Tesla's still chopping around. Markets are markets are pretty sloppy this morning, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is, just, I mean, we're grinding higher, holding the VWAP pretty well, but I mean, we got some nasty little tails up here. Q's have been decently bullish for most of the day. Got the resistance right up here, like 355.80, 356 basically. Resistance on the Q's. I mean, Oxy is looking higher. I'll give it to you. Oxy is looking higher. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, Apple. I like Apple still, guys. I want to watch this one. I want to watch the Apple. Give me a little bit of a cleaner breakout up here, but we are getting that consolidation, that correction that we need. Uh, Tesla's getting a little bit choppy, a little whippy up here. AMD continues to go higher. Okay, this ETRN is actually coming together pretty nicely here, guys. Actually, 951. Range. I go 951 by 940, guys. I'm looking at this ETRN. First, like four minutes wasn't that great, but now it's now it's looking pretty interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be going right here. That's actually not a bad breakout at all. Might still try to get into this thing. Well, there's just something about this stock I just don't really like. The way it's trading, it's low volume, and then it gets the volume, and just, I don't know about this. How it's, I'm not trading this, guys. I don't know. This is, there's some issues with this. The volume is real weird. This It's super extended on the daily chart. Like, I, I'm not taking that. I know there's a good breakout pattern there, but it's, it's just not for me. It's not for me. Uh, Pan W still hanging out, hanging out. Uh, let me check that AEHR in just a second, Casey. We keep a very, very close eye on Apple. AEHR, let's check this out. All right, daily one at forty-two. We're getting in up here, a little bit extended up here. Uh, stop loss at thirty-six fifty. You got a pretty safe stop loss down here. So if it does pull back, you should be safe. You got a little bit of uh, support right up here. A target of 51. So is this an all time high too? So no resistance up here either. So I, my one concern would be, my one concern would be that it's a little bit extended up here, but otherwise it's a pretty nice stock. Nice stage two uptrend, target's reasonable. Got a pretty safe stop. So yeah, not a bad idea at all. Not a bad idea on the AEHR. And I'm looking at Apple with like a 70 cent stop loss right now. 183.76 or 183.06. Looking at looking at Apple right now. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get this order in there, guys. So we got eight, six, so all right. I got my target in there as well. All right, guys, Apple order is in here. I like this one a lot, guys. Like I said, I think Apple's going today. I think Apple's the place we want to be. So order's in there. Uh, 183.76. By 183.06. Target at 184.52. So now, now I really like it too. Now that it didn't trigger on this bar, now it looks even better. So Apple orders in there. Markets are looking like they're going to try to go a little bit higher today. Spies uh, continuing to grind up higher. Q's broke over the resistance from yesterday. Pan W is looking lower at the moment, looking pretty weak here. <clears throat> like I said, Apple orders in there on the Apple. If it doesn't trigger soon, I might just tighten my stop up to 55 cents. We'll see. Uh, 
Tesla's Tesla's still on my radar. I do like this one still, but it's going to need to get a little bit of a better pattern. Uh, Oxy's still doing his thing. There's the ETR in it. I mean, it's there if you like it. Like I said, it's there. Just there's something that's first 15, we're trading the one. After that, we trade the five. So there we have it. Switch to the five. Let's go through the list again, see what we got. Uh, not seeing a whole lot, honestly. Maybe this AMED, we can keep an eye on it. Breaking out of the little wedge pattern right here. Like I said, if you, if you were one to be aggressive, you liked it, you could have got in there. 30, 40 cent stop loss and a dollar fifty. Not bad. Uh, let's go back. PMW still hanging out. Apple. Apple's still hanging out. Honestly, Apple's looking even better. The longer it waits up here without pulling back too far, the better it looks. Alright, so we're in the Apple. We are in the Apple. Got one penny of slippage, so not anything to worry about. Probably will be raising my stop up on this here pretty quickly. Uh, 183.21. Yeah. Probably going to raise my stop up on that pretty quick. We'll keep an eye on it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just do it right now. 183.21. There you go. There we go. Got a little bit of protection on the Apple. Uh, Tesla guys, I like Tesla over high today. Give me a little pattern on Tesla and I'm in there. So watch that. Oxy's moving lower now. IMG is kind of struggling. ETR, you can still watch it. OPCH. It's kind of popped out of nowhere. Uh, not a ton to do with it. It's got a range concern now. Now it's really in those moving averages. So it's going to be tough to trade for me. Dawn, mediocre, Amen. Still got a little range on Amen. You can watch it. Here we go. I'm gonna check my backups again real fast here. CCL's got to get over the high from Friday before I'm into that. No doubt. AIV, me. SSYS. This one's a little bit interesting, but. Honestly, it'd be more interesting on the daily if it just chopped around here and gave you a little three bar play. But so not really day trading material. ZG just chopping around. Man, if ZG gets over 46, that thing looks good actually. This is uh just real estate. I wonder why this didn't pop up in my real estate skin. This is going on my list. It's gotta go on the swing trade list, man. There it is. I get that swing trade list on there. ZG Real estate, one of my top sectors this week. We'll see how that plays out. Oh, Casey, you're looking at Apple. Trading Apple over all-time high. All right, let's see what you got working with. 183. We got a wide stop, 167.55. You're going to be in this for a little while. Target up to 216. That's a big move. That's a big move out from a big company, man. 183, like right here. Nope. 216. It's like another 18, 20% move on the Apple. So that's, that's a stout move. You see, we've been up quite a bit here. I would not be surprised if we got some sort of correction. I mean, we're up. It's just like 12 weeks in a row. Apple's been in the green. So, I mean, before it gets all the way to 216, I think it's going to get some sort of correction here. Whether we consolidate or pull back, I don't know, but I mean, you do have a pretty wide stop there, so you should be good, but uh, you might be in that one for a little while. You might be in there for a little while. All right. Apple, we're in the Apple, kind of peekaboo this in, chopping around here. Not too worried about it just yet. Don't want to really see it go below 183.50. You might start getting a little bit worried under there, but. At the moment, looking a okay. Uh, IMGN is moving up a little bit here. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one, honestly. Yeah, especially when you look at the one minute. The one minute just doesn't look nearly as good. 
ran up and since then just sold off and hung out. So, not a huge fan of the IMGN. Markets are still kind of choppy. Spine cues. How can I like, like tight today? I need to stretch. Oh. All right, guys. So yeah, spies. Wow. What is going on with the spy, guys? Holy mackerel. Look at this. Look at these top. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen bottoming tails like this on the spy. That is really something interesting. Man, if we break under these tails, we got. We might be in for it. We might be in for it. My good, like this is this is really an interesting market right now. Massive topping tails, more bottoming tails than I've ever seen. Um, yeah, this is an interesting market. Very interesting. Look at this thing. It looks like a piece of art or something. Weird. Spy is having a odd day today. Pulling in right here. It looks like it's going lower. Yeah, but these bottom tails don't hold. We got room to drop. Too bad I don't have any good uh, short ideas. Too bad there's no real good short ideas right now. Uh, just put a big oh, mother trucker. There goes Apple, guys. Apple tagged us out. Trail out on the Apple. Uh, gun. So yeah, I lost about three fourths of an R on Apple. Man, I really like this thing. These markets, man. This has been a weird fucking market this morning. What is this? This is just odd. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's going on with the markets today. All these bobbing tails, all these topping tails. This is some weird fishy stuff going on. Very fishy. Uh, suspect, man. When stuff like that's going down, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's bigger stuff going down, man. Some big hedge fund, some big manager somewhere is making money today. It's a bunch of BS, if you ask me. Like, what is that, man? What is the market doing when it's whipping around like this? Now, here's the IMGN. Ended up popping pretty good, but like I said, really not for me. Uh, AMD's pulling in. Like I said, I really don't have any good short ideas, but the market is looking a little bit lower at the moment. Looking a little lower here. Apple, man, Apple was a little, this one thing was extended up here, I'm not going to lie, but like I said, if the market wasn't being so fishy, I think it would have worked. I, mean, I think that one's a market move right there, where it just... You got some weird stuff happening in the spy and the queues and messing with the big cap stocks. There's the NASDAQ rolling over here. All right. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. Tesla's still a little bit interesting. Oxy, IMGN, AMD. Man. OPCH. Continues to rip higher. Uh, this dawn is a little bit interesting, actually, guys. Dawn over high today, 1570. I'm going to give it too much of a stop loss. It's got a little bit of a range concern there, but nothing really holding it back. Doing really good volume. So keep an eye on the dawn, actually. I like that. Keep an eye on the dawn. Uh, AMED as well. AMED's another very interesting one, actually. AMED's. Might be getting into some AMED here. It's got dollar, might be high the day by low the day. Good range on this one still. Putting in a nice little breakout right here. Keep an eye on the dawn. Markets are pulling back a little bit. So, careful with that. Like I said, I really don't have anything on my short list that's looking worthwhile. Fro has just got so much support right here. It's tough to go, go short there. Riot, maybe. I'm going to watch this Dawn and Amen. It's my two top watches at the moment. So I put them on my list. And that IMGN really popped in there. Really a nice pop there. Alright, get this list organized. There we go. 
But yeah, so watch uh, both of these ideas. IMGN showing some good relative strength now too as the market pulls back. Uh, this AMED and the dollar just really hang out. So yeah, keep an eye on this one. I like AMED a little bit more just because it has a little more range. It's going to be like 1975. Whoa. 91.75. Might give it a dollar stop loss. 90.75. Scalp it out real fast. Let me get this. I'm gonna get an order ready on this Amen. Pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. 91.75. 90 to 75. Might give it a little more room there. Actually, it does have the range. It doesn't give me a whole lot of protection. Volume. Yeah, I'm always hesitant to trade these health health stocks and health service stuff, but like I said, this is actually looking pretty nice here. I give it 950 just to. Well. A little bit. I don't like going for whole numbers. You know that. Um, there we go. I go like a ninety-two, ninety, or ninety, sixty. So just a little bit of room. Keep it on. I do like the dawn as well, guys. Watch dawn. Uh, it's going right here. So it didn't give us enough rest, but there it goes. Market's pulling back a little bit more. One minute on AMED is looking pretty good, guys. I'm not going to lie. One minute's looking nice. Stop loss would be right here, 90, 64. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send this order on the, on the AMED. It's dollar fifteen stops. We're going to do about, about a dollar. Oh. I guess that's right. There we go. Amen. Order is in there. 91.75 by 90.60. Yep, there we go. Order's in there on Amed. IMG and guys, this thing's still pretty interesting actually. Maybe not. Average range is not really there, but I mean, this five minute three bar play is not the world's worst. 25 cent stop loss. Looks like it still has a little bit of range to go. Keep on that one. Got the order in on the Amen. Dawn is moving up still. I really do want to see this uh, Amen trigger sooner rather than later. Oxy's pulling in. PMW's looking a little choppy. And there's the Apple. Man, I really, we might have gotten shaken out of Apple. I'm not crossing this off my list. I might be right back into this thing. So keep, it, keep it on the Apple. Tesla as well. Tesla gets back towards high today. I like it. Spy has pulled back a little bit. Spies pull back. Oh, you got base you're looking at, KT. My bad. Let me go check that one out for you. Base. B A S S E. All right. Ooh, a little bit extended here. I mean, you're up quite a bit in the past month. Uh, base, daily chart, 2150. So you're getting all the way up here. Stop at 19. So you got a pretty safe stop, even if it pulled back. I mean, this is kind of, 19 is kind of the. The last area of support, so maybe you pull back and might get tagged out. But uh, target for 25, so your target's in the right spot. Next area of resistance, maybe transition from a stage one to an early stage two. But my biggest concern would be getting tagged out of this. I mean, you're up 50%, so even if I pull back a little bit to 19, it definitely could tag you out to the 
50 percent retracing is all the way down to 18 so wouldn't be a super big surprise if you got if it came back to 19 before it goes to 25 but uh, definitely strong trading stock we do have earnings tomorrow as well so uh, definitely be mindful of that you might want to hold off until after earnings it does have some good things about it but yeah just be mindful of that earnings and the extendedness of it pnw apple all right, Apple's up. Tesla's still moving a little bit lower here, kind of struggling. Uh, AMED has not triggered just yet. So I really do want to see some sort of uh, green move out of this thing. I do not want to see. I need to see it come back and retest 9150 at, very, at the very least. we got to get it back up there. So it did bounce off support pretty well. That's good. IMGN, like I said, it's a little bit interesting, guys. I'm not going to lie. 25 cent stop loss. The range is definitely a concern. But, I mean, this thing does do some $1 days pretty consistently. Uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get in this 15.51 by 14 or 15.76 uh, out of that. Just, uh, just a little bit of room here. All right, guys, IMGN. Five minute three bar play. IMGN. Uh, 15.51 by 15.26. There we go. IMGN. Order is in there. Where's your view on US 30? Let me check it out in just a second, my man. IMGN. So, order's in there for that. I right, still got the order in on AMED. It did that. Guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to cancel this AMED. Well, I guess I'll get it. Good. Just put in the massive volume spike right there, though. The biggest volume spike of the day, right at 1950, 90.50. So, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to leave it just for a couple more minutes. But uh, I'm getting close to canceling it. We'll see if it does. If it puts in a big bottom tail like that all the way back up to 91.50, I'm definitely gonna leave it. But uh, US 30 isn't that usually just the Dow, DIA? I do believe. Uh, yeah, so this is just the Dow. Uh, so I mean, had a nice big move up yesterday. So really got me. I don't have a whole lot of opinion on this one, man. Been into quite a bit of resistance, got some support below. Uh, maybe it chops around, gives you a little three bar play for tomorrow. But uh, right now, at the moment, I mean, it's weaker than the spy and the cues, that's for sure. These are both breaking out, and the Dow is still under all this resistance, so it's definitely lagging uh, those markets, no doubt. But still looking a little bit bullish, bouncing off the of 200. Not a whole lot of direction here. This is still kind of in that stage three, like not really looking higher, not really looking lower, just kind of chopping around a little tug of war. It seems like it's just kind of waiting on more information. But like I said, it is a little bit weaker than the spine of the Q. So if we do end up getting a pullback in one of those two, I would expect this thing to sell off just the same, if not more. So hope that helps you out a little bit. I think a lot of people ask about the US 30. I wonder why. I guess this one is uh, it's like at the actual price of the Dow. Yeah. I can see why you watch it. 33,700. No worries, bro. Anytime, anytime. Uh, so, still got the order in on uh, IMGN. Has not triggered just yet. It's looking pretty good though. I like what it's doing up here. Dude, this market has been just erratic. What is going on today? Look at this. All these weird big topping tails, bottom tails, wide range bars. Like this is just a really, really wild market. I think we did have some a little bit of news coming out at whoa. Let's see this shit. Uh, so we did have news, some, what was this, IM, ISM services, so I guess.
this ended up being a little bit more forecast than actually, so a little bit less bullish than what they thought it looks like. Nonetheless, it's a choppy market, that's for dang sure. It's one thing I'm positive about. Guys, Apple all the way back towards high today. Watch this. Watch this. I will consider another uh, trade on the Apple. Watch that. Tesla as well. Tesla is looking very interesting. Still got a ton of range left on Tesla. Over half its range there. IMGN is chopping around up here. Dawn is... It's looking a little bit interesting. My one concern would be the range. Uh, it's already done over its average trading range. But, I mean, the volume on that... We'll probably get away with another trade there. Uh, this AMED, guys, I'm canceling AMED. Cancel AMED. Cancel AMED. So we got the order in on IMG. And uh, I'm watching Tesla and I'm watching Apple. Those are my, probably my top two watches at the moment. I'll reconsider this maybe if it comes back up here and gives us another uh, retest of that area, but I don't like what it's doing down here. p and still hanging out. And Apple really shook the tree on us, didn't it? Really just shook us out with a little shake and bake. Might consider sneaking into Tesla a little bit early here. But then again, maybe not. Might just wait for high today there. So, I don't have a whole lot right now. Pan W's chopping around. Uh, watching Apple for a high of the day move. Tesla, kind of same thing. ING and still got that order in there. Uh, Dawn is tough. Amen. And it's another one. It's going to be a little bit tough to trade there. Uh, ETRN, nothing. OPCH, nothing to do with it now. Oxy's looking weak. AMD's looking higher. Check out some of these other oil. They all pulling in. Yeah. The oil sector ended up selling off here this morning, so not much to do with that. Guys, watch Apple. Watch the Apple. Might get in with the exact same entry, 183, they're not exact same. 183, 86, 183, 21. Looking at it on Apple. Like I said, I really would like to get a better uh, breakout pattern. But it doesn't give us much else. I will probably get into this. 183, 86. Uh, There's another stop loss. Was, 23, 21. Right. Oh, sheesh. Doesn't look like we're going to get this uh, trade on the Apple. Man, this thing's really going to irk me, isn't it? This thing's going to be like 186 at the end, end of the day. Son of a gun. Just shook me out on the Apple. One red bar. Damn. Not much you can do with that. Still watch Apple, guys. I'm going to have to wait for another pattern on there. Uh, Tesla's a little bit interesting as well right up here. Hmm. Man, what a just kind of a whippy day, man. Look at the spy. This is a very ugly market. Just complete, utter slop. Honestly, this is an I I'm, I just hate the market like this, man. Like, what is this? this? Looks like a penny stock. This looks like some sort of company that's like X N T R V or something, some bullshit. Just weird symbol, man. This does not look like the spy. This is just a ridiculously ugly chart. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Honestly, this right here, this one minute, might be one of the worst. Charts I've seen on the spy, maybe ever. Like, we are completely choppy, completely just whipping. Like, there's one thing to be choppy and to be like in direction and not really going anywhere, 
it's another thing to be choppy and to be like whipping around with big moves and big tails and all that stuff. So this right here is just an extremely ugly, annoying, choppy market. We'll, we'll try to make the most of it. We'll see if we can't get us some sort of trade today. I mean, look at the apple. Look at the apple. Just peek it up there and right back down. So I still watch it. I still do like it. Same with Tesla. I do like this Tesla. I can think of, kind of want to get in Tesla a little bit early, like I said. $2 stop loss. It's going right here, so... I just wait for high of the day. It's always a little bit more aggressive to get in under these pivots up here. But uh, keep it on the Tesla. Keep it on the Apple. Still got an order in for IMGN. Has not broken our stop loss just yet. It's getting close. Might be canceling it soon, but not just yet. This uh, Dawn is see, a little bit interesting, guys. i got to be honest with you. i to be honest with you. Right at about a 50% retracement. The, know, 40 some cents on the stop loss. A little bit interesting there. I'm a little bit worried about taking any sort of trade though with this market. Like I really don't have any clear direction. I'm, I guess I'm leaning bearish at the moment with all these topping tails and such. We still got room to drop so Leaning towards the bear side, but I don't know. We could just chop around all day. None of my short ideas are anything worthwhile, so it's not helpful at all. All right, all right, all right. Well, if you guys got any open trades, any trades you're looking at, maybe something you're already taking, maybe a swing trade or something, be my guest, throw it up here. I'm still watching Apple pretty closely. 180, probably still give it 75 cent stop loss. Let me get an order ready on it. 75 down to 183.20. Yeah, that's not a bad position there. It's going right here, isn't it? Son of a gun. We're not going to get this rest that we need on Apple. Dog. And like I said, I would not be surprised if things at 186 by the end of the day. Just absolutely shook us out. Maybe go with the 184 entry. 184. Uh, 183.25. Keep it the 75 cent. There we go. Watching the apple, don't want to see it go right. I'm watching this one minute mainly. I want to see just a little bit of rest on this one minute. If it's three bars up, continues to rip. I don't want to be in it. If we get a, even a little bit of rest, even like a little bit of a red bar here, I will be putting my order in. Like I said, this is the strongest stock in the market. Spy is looking a little bit lower right now, but man, the relative strength on apple is just stellar. So. I think, nonetheless, whatever happens, I think Apple continues to go higher today. Watch Apple. I got an order ready for it. Give it a few cents here. All right, guys, look at the one minute. It's pulling in right now. It would be lovely if it chopped around for another uh, bar or so, but... Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to wait for that. Apple releasing first new tech in a decade. Mixed reality hits. Oh, what time is that going down? What Do you know what time that is? Because I really probably don't want to be in a trade at that point. I might be watching trade Apple up until that point, but uh, I'd be mindful of that. I wonder if Apple's got the news event today. I thought it was usually in September they did that stuff. Apple WWDC. What time is this? Worldwide Developers Conference. 
what time does this thing start, you know? I'm not seeing anything on the old interweb. Don't know time? Ah. Well, I think it's just managed out for the plan. Guys, watch Apple. It says to me about a 75 cent stop loss. A little bit of a range concern, but we're getting out right at the uh, trading range, the average trading range. Guys, IMGN still looking very good. Still got my order in the IMGN. It's looking really nice out here. Tesla's pulling in a little bit. Uh, that Dawn is one you can watch as well. Dawn, I get like a 40 to 50 cent stop loss. Maybe even 20 to 30. You can get a little tighter. Not a bad idea on the DAWN. Alright, so Apple's hanging out. Tesla's rolling over. Markets are rolling here a little bit as well. So, showing some weakness in the spine and the cues. Makes me a little bit more hesitant to uh, trade this Apple. Looking through my list right now, I really don't see anything else. Maybe the Dawn, but... That big topping tail right at the uh, top of that buy setup is a little bit worrisome. I'm not going to lie. Really don't, man, I'm, I, I wish you could trade uh, order or save orders on TradingView. Like if I could just right here and just be like, eh, click a little button and be like, save. So I could click to another stock and then come back and my order would still be here. That would be just absolutely amazing. But they don't have that yet. Not yet. Maybe someday they'll get there. I mean, they never stop improving. Trading views always, always on the improvement train. So maybe they'll make that improvement eventually. I'm not going to transfer up. I'm not looking at that now. Tesla's rolling over big time. There's that Dawn kind of buy setup for me. IMGN, right there, man. You're right there. Let's see here. What's the uh, level two looking like? Hmm, decent. I mean, sometimes level two has like actual like number of like sellers and buyers, but sometimes it's just all over the place, like, like nothing. But we'll see. All right. So fifth, I'm gonna raise this up to fifteen thirty. We are in the IMGN, guys. We are in IMGN. Triggered in there. Target is fifteen seventy six. We'll see if we can't get there. Uh, Amid is still looking a bit interesting up here, guys. Still hanging out, chopping around. So keep an eye on that one. ETRN, man. OPC eight, man. This thing ended up having a much better day than I expected to have. AMD's going up. Bye, man. What a choppy market. Cues are just as nasty. Look at this. Five minute cues is just as sloppy. So, not much to do today, guys. Apple. I still like Apple. Who, who, who? That was putting in a little bit of a better bottoming tail as well. So, I mean, the relative strength on this thing is really nice. What are some other fat man stocks doing? We've been watching Tesla, Amazon. Amazon's looking higher. And the resistance though. Uh, Microsoft chopping around here. Meta's looking higher. Stone resistance though. Uh, Nvidia moving around. All right. You got any big movers today? Netflix on the rise. Guys, Netflix is actually interesting up here. This is actually a bit interesting. Right, still got good range to so watch Netflix, maybe over that. Uh, really, if we can get any sort of pattern on it, watch Netflix. Engine, man. Walmart's moving on up. CBS, Merck, Ford. So I don't really see a whole lot else. We can watch Google. Google's having a nice strong day up towards the this high right here. So watch Google over that area as well. Watch Google up there. Verizon, man. CL. I wonder this Walmart.
anything nice. Okay. A little one man three bar play kind of pseudo. Oh man. I've got a few more ideas here. Netflix, Google. You can watch both of these. Well, Google Google's gonna be a little bit tougher just because it's already at that average trading range, so a little bit less bullish on Google. I do like Netflix quite a bit though. So Netflix is gonna be one I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on right up here. There we go. And watch that Netflix. Uh, we are we're in the IMGN for better or for worse. We're in this thing. Kind of peekaboo this in at the moment. Hopefully it gets going here. Uh, Apple still hanging out. I still do like Apple, guys. Still a fan of Apple. 75, 80 cent stop loss. Ooh, good. The honest, man, that one's getting a little bit iffy. 50 cent stop loss, you're going to need all the way back towards high of the day. Yeah, I'm out. AMED chopping around, lower. Right, so don't see a whole lot right now. Just keep an eye on the Apple, watching Netflix. Apple then starts at 1. So, is that 1 uh, Eastern time? Or 1 Central time? Oh, Easter time. It's like, we have a few hours till then. There's Netflix moving up still. Eastern, okay. I figured it was. We always try to talk in market time. I was just making sure. Right, so we have one Eastern time. So if you, you guys, if you are in an Apple trade, if you're trading Apple today, day trade, uh, be mindful of that. About one o'clock Eastern time, you might want to keep a very close eye on that position. Things could get a little bit whippy. You might want to exit before then. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, ooh, but what if it's a good announcement? And what if it, the price just, just skyrockets up? It's like, it, it could happen. You're right, it could happen. But it could just as easily be about it. Or it could even be a good announcement that makes the price go down, guys. It doesn't always have to be, doesn't always correlate like that. That's why. It, not a big fan of trading the news. I try to trade the chart. So uh, just as easy, easily as it could pop and rip, it could sell off and tank. So I would not try to be playing the news unless you are Tim Cook or something, unless you got like an inside edge on the Apple, you know what's going down. I would, I would probably be getting out of that position before that announcement happens. Buy on rumors, sell on the news. Yeah, there you go. I mean, if you had, if you heard the rumor about a week ago, it would have worked out for you. Apple's had a pretty nice little week, up six percent. Not too bad, uh, guys. I am looking at this Apple right now. Still over high today, one eighty four by like a one eighty three twenty. About an eighty cent stop loss here. Hmm. Markets are still real choppy, just hanging out, chopping around, so not much to do with them. Netflix moving up, Apple's trying to get up there. Tesla's chopping around towards the lows. And this IMG needs to get it going. Really just a peekaboo up there over that high of the day. So hopefully it doesn't tag us out. Hopefully we get a, at least a bit more of a bullish move out of that. Uh, but yeah, Apple's definitely my top watch at the moment. Definitely my top watch right here. 83 cent stop loss. A 184 by 183 at 20. Keep an eye on the Apple. Whew. I feel like it's been a long morning. I feel like Mondays are always like that though. Come back from the weekend. You gotta get back into the grind of things. It's been a long morning, man. I've got another, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes or so, I'll be on the mic. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you're getting them out there. This is a great time to ask them. Things have slowed down a little bit. Casey, let me check out that kind for you.
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna send this over here on the Apple. Uh, give it eight cents or so. There we go. So I'm I'm gonna be keeping a very close eye on Apple. I might be canceling it, but I'm gonna go ahead and send this over for now. I'm gonna go ahead and send the Apple for now, so I can switch to some other charts and review some other trades. Casey, you're looking at kind K I N D man. What a great breakout this thing had right at 250. 250. You could have given it a wide stop loss, tight stop loss. Doesn't matter. It went 40 cents. I guess the tight stop loss would have hit target, not the wide, but uh, not bad there. You're getting it up here at $3. So it is a, it's a little bit extended up here at 3 bucks. I mean, you've had quite a big move. Uh, so $3 stop at 273. And that's, that stop is a little bit tight too. I mean, if this thing even does a healthy 50% uh, retracement, which is right to an area of previous uh, resistance, I mean, that could be, that could very well just tag you out at 273 before it goes any higher. So uh, the target up here at 350, I think your target's in a good spot, but I just think you could, you probably could wait a little bit and probably could get a better entry. Like I said, this thing is up quite a bit, 20% uh, in just three days. So. A little bit of a correction, whether it be price or time, I think that would be needed on this before it goes too much higher. It is looks like it's maybe getting in, getting out of that early stage one into that stage two transition. So uh, keep an eye on this one. But like I said, a little bit extended up here where you're getting into three dollars. Alright, guys. So back to my list. Markets are looking a little bit higher here. Or not higher, I mean lower. Spies winding down still. The cues are really just really chopping around, man. This has been a very choppy morning, guys. Not an easy trading morning at all. I really haven't seen any trades that has just been absolutely stellar. Just knock your socks off. Got a hair something in my mouth. But no real like just absolutely stellar trades that we just really missed. We got shaken out of the apple. Probably could have waited on this one. Probably could have waited, but I uh, don't hate that trade. Tesla didn't really give us anything. Uh, the Dawn had a little shake and bake on that buy setup. IMGN looking like it might shake and bake us. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get a break over that 1550 area. Uh, the AMED just keeps going lower. KMW, nothing. ETRN had nothing. OPCH, Oxy. Yeah, we were, I mean, this list really really didn't amount to much to the super choppy market super choppy market did not help anything at all but I mean, even the backup ideas not really that great not really a whole lot to do with these let's see guys apple continues to move higher so we may be getting that apple here soon we may be getting into the apple soon. God, oh wow. I'm off today. My clicks are off. All right, apple. Oh, I didn't even put it in here. What was that? Apple? We, ah, son of a gun. Son of a gun. We got, we're out of, uh, out of the IMGN. Out of IMGN. Not the best way to start the week, guys. Down almost two R. There's some decent sized losses there, but uh, nonetheless, man, I really do like this IMG and trade. That thing was solid. I mean, a nice, big, powerful move up, nice consolidation. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. That's just, that's tough. That's tough. It is what it is. Uh, Netflix. Still on my radar for a long trade, so keep an eye on the Netflix, guys. I do like it. I do like Netflix. Uh, Apple continues to move higher, so watch that one over 184. Uh, Tesla chop around here. Man, kick rocks, IMG. Uh, PNW. Uh, yeah, I really don't see a whole lot else, guys. Watching Netflix, watching the Apple. Otherwise, probably going to call it for the trades today. 
Let me check my swing trades, see how these are doing. A little bit of red on the list, but looking good on the frog. FSK is moving up. NWSA chopping around. Maybe RCL. We need a little bit more out of RCL for that full target there. VNT, looks like we got out of VNT today for a one hour game. Triggered into Duel. And did not get into the Rumble just yet. Did not get into Rumble just yet. Well, maybe. We might have triggered us in. We'll see. Alright. Man, this tote, this thing, oh. Literally just peekabooed me out by 10 cents. I still think this one goes higher on the toast. Uh, CRM hanging out. Another one dash just peekabooed me out. Again. So, swing trades are looking pretty alright. Looking decent. Markets are still very, very choppy. And Netflix. Keep an eye on the Netflix, I suppose. Apple is continuing to move up a little bit here. What is it? That's not where I want that. That needs to be at 20. There we go. There's an 80 cent stop loss. There it is. There we go. Alright, so still in, in looking at the Apple, still looking very interesting. Like I said, I do think the sun goes higher by the end of the day. Don't see much else besides that. So I've got my order in on Apple, waiting on that one. Got shaken out of Apple once, got shaken out of IG, IMGN. Man. A little bit of this market, dude. This market is honestly extremely annoying. Look at this. Like I said earlier, this is this looks like some sort of biotech stock. This is like this does not look like the spy man. This thing is so whippy, so sloppy, all these different tails, engulfing bars, all this stuff. It makes it a little bit more tough to pick direction when you're trading. When you're day trading specifically. This I mean you get in one thing and then you get shaken out and then it's right back up and you get shaken out again and we're feeling it on the IMGN, man. IMG, I wouldn't be surprised if this one was at 16 bucks by the end of the day either. Just shook the dang tree on us. Mm, tough. Guys, it looks like we're going to be an Apple any second now. Honestly, I'd really like it to uh, hang out here for another minute or so. It looks like we are going to be in the Apple. The 15 minute looks really nice. 15 minute looks solid. 5 minute looks pretty good too, actually. So. I like where we're at with the apple. Got that one little shakeout bar that got us earlier, so hopefully we can get it back on the on this second trade here. Ooh, what to do? Like I said, man, spy Q is just a nasty day today. Real nasty, nasty. All right. Good thing we didn't take that dawn, I suppose. But I said it was, I mean, it was there, but it was very extended, so definitely had its issues. If IMGN actually goes to 16 today, I, that one's going to make me annoyed. That one will really annoy me because, like I said, this was a nice trade. I liked it quite a bit. Nice little breakout right at the whole number into a nice void, had some range, like this, I mean, it was, my list, it was check, 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 looking good, and just shakes us out, shakes us out like a dog, man, like a dog with fleas, Ugh. Uh, Pan W ended up not doing anything at all, ETRN, man, good thing we didn't take that ETRN by set, or breakout, look at that thing, just barely peekabooed up there, and Rolled over. I told you I didn't trust it. It was, it was just a weird looking stock. Trade weird. Oxy ended up being weak. Ooh, really? Yeah, so not much, not much else to do. Got my order in for Apple. Looking pretty good. Honestly, it's looking a lot better now, guys. This five minute chart's, uh, 
this five minute bar is about to complete so now we got an actual a clean breakout up here so i like it a lot more now i'm really liking this apple over high today honestly i hope imgn goes to freaking zero this stock can kick rocks immunogen get out of here where are you from Waltham, Massachusetts. What is this? Producing some sort of uh, drug that people know, probably don't need. I'm, I'm, I do not like the pharmaceutical industry, guys. I'm not going to lie. I think it's one of the most corrupt industries in all of America. Top three is uh, the law. Like any law firm, all that, sh man, that's that's a corrupt industry. They're just trying to take your money and drag stuff out. Pharmaceuticals, another super corrupt industry. I mean, they make money off of sick people. Imagine what your incentives are there. Those, those are two of the most corrupt uh, industries in the, all of the U.S., I think. The other one would probably just be politicians. You know, the political party is just, it's it's so corrupt. It's ridiculous. Like, these people are just, they're not even in touch with reality. Like, the, like Joe Biden and all these, like, high-up political office people, they're not, like, they don't even know. They're just playing their own little games. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, pharmaceuticals, law firms, corrupt industries. I don't trust them. I wouldn't trust them to pour me a bowl of cereal. Like, it was Pfizer. Oh, this might be the worst company maybe ever. And this company is just so... Their morals are just awful. Horrible. There's not a company in the world that has worse morals than Pfizer. They try to sell it like they're trying to make you better, like they're trying to make drugs that actually help people, but all they're doing is trying to freaking make money. That's all it is. They're trying to make money, and how do they do that? By selling more drugs. So what do they do? They're going to create more drugs. They're going to create more illnesses. Pfizer is a terrible company. I do not support Pfizer at all. All right, guys. So we are in the uh, Apple. We are in Apple. Target is 184.80. We got a 80 cent stop loss on it. I'm going to go ahead and raise it up just a few pennies right here. Uh, off to a very nice start, almost up a half hour on Apple. So, good start there. Maybe we'll make up a little bit of uh, what we lost on the IMGN in the first Apple trade. But looking good so far. Spies looking a little bit higher, maybe. Uh, Q's trying to go higher. So, it should be a good thing for Apple. Yeah, we got a nice little 30 cent pop. Need another 50 cents there. Tesla hanging out. Don hanging out. IMGN. Yeah, go down, IMGN. Get out of here. Kick rocks. Amen. Chopping around. Pan W. Nothing. All right, guys. So that's probably going to do it for me. I don't see myself taking any more trades today. Got uh, a little bit of risk open on Apple. About another 0.9 R risk on Apple. So that's going to do it for me. I'll be on the mic for what time is it? Another five, 10 minutes or so, probably closer to five. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you uh, get them out there. Uh, if you have, are not already, make sure you check out the Lang trading discord link is in the description below. It is free to join. So make sure you check that out. I will be live in that voice channel right after I get off of the mic here. So if you guys want to talk it out, have any questions you want to get a little bit more in depth about maybe you don't want to type it in the chat log uh, you can join the discord channel and ask those questions in that live voice chat and i'll i'll be there talking to you guys giving you those straightforward answers so make sure you check that out a lot of great resources in that man look at this thing no if apple really comes back and tags us out of it 185 83.25 i'm gonna just it's gonna be it that's gonna call it a day for me and this market is just utterly choppy just stupid choppy what is what even is this man
I'm still shook by this one minute. This is one of the ugliest one minutes I've ever seen on the spy. All my years of trading. This is just ugly. U G L Y. This is ugly as I don't know. I can't think of something that rhymes with Y. But you guys get the point. Hideous chart on the spy. Q's not any better. Q's are not any better. Just chop. Straight chop, nothing but. This IMG is pulling in a little bit more. And you're welcome, Casey. Thank you for tuning in every day, man. I really appreciate you. I really do. You're awesome. You got some great trades. I want to know, do you, Casey, if you don't mind me asking, do you take all the trades that you, uh, like, say here? And today you took, you mentioned IBM, AEHR, Apple, Base, Kind. So is that five trades? Did you take all five of those trades today? Or are those just ideas that you're looking at at the moment? I, I got to wait like 30 seconds now for you to answer because we found out on Friday that there was like literally a 30 second lag on the, on the chat box, on the chat log, whatever. So. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute to type. Give you a minute to send it. It's really annoying, actually. I feel like it could uh, definitely be quicker than 30 seconds. But no, not at all. Okay. I didn't think so. I was like, you, man, you're going to run out of buying power real quick. If, you, if you're taking all these trades, you're going to run out of buying power. But no, that makes sense. That's good. That's good. Come on, Apple. Come on, baby. Let's see you put in that work. We got another idea here. Agent. Let's check it out. Agent. It was like a little penny stock. Is it biotech or something? Yep. Alright. So, Agent. Like a stage one. This is a little bit of a tough stock. This is just looks like a weak stock overall. So, don't really like the trend on micro stage. Uh, this maybe stage four, stage one, Mike into that early stage two. Uh, looking at dollar sixty eight, you're getting up here. Stop at one fifty seven. Have a ton of protection. Target down to one eighty six. So yeah, I feel like this is almost more of a uh, hourly trade almost because your stop is right there on the hourly pivot, looking good. Uh, stop was right, entry is right here. And the target was up to the next pivot. So almost looks like an hourly trade, but I mean, you could have got in a little bit earlier, maybe like 165 when it's breaking out over these pivots. But not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Like I said, in that maybe pseudo, a kind of stage one, early stage two, uh, your stop, your target's in the right spot at 186. So. All right, take care, Yusuke. Thanks for tuning in today. Love seeing you here, my man. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, so we will see you then. Actually, I'm probably going to be calling it a day here in a few minutes as well, guys. Um, I've got the one trade open on uh, Apple. One trade open on Apple. Don't see myself taking anything else. If you wanted to trade something else, you can keep an eye on Netflix. Maybe you get a pattern, a breakout over high of the day, like a $3 stop loss. A bit of a range concern. You're already at... Average day is 10.30. It's already done 9.50. So you only have like a dollar of room left. Uh, but it is trading into a void. doesn't have too much resistance up there. So if you like something, maybe you can get that Netflix. Probably the only idea I have for you guys. Looks like it's kind of going right here. So, uh, yeah. Unless I'm, I'll give you guys a few more minutes. If you have any last minute questions or comments, make sure you get them out there. But I will be calling it a day. Oof, what a day it was, man. Not the best day. Lost. I'm going to school with you. I'm down like 1.9R between Apple and IMGN. So really not a great start to the week. I uh, got shook around with this super choppy market. So uh, honestly, I didn't think we did a horrible job. I, I mean, I like the trades we took. Apple, the first Apple trade was a little bit aggressive. This IMGN, I have no issues with it. I like it. Uh, AMED, nothing. So we didn't really miss anything. I think we maybe we're just a little bit too aggressive with how uh, choppy of a market we're in. Maybe a little bit aggressive, but we'll see if we can't get some of that back with the Apple. 
still have a good chance there. So that is going to do it for me. Uh, yeah, let's see if Apple can't get it going, man. Let's see if this thing can't pop off here. The old Apple. So it uh, looks like you guys are good to go. So I'm going to call. Oh, Casey's got one more. All right, I got you, brother. AMPH. Got one more to look at. I got it. Let's, let's take a look and then I'm going to hop off here. So AMPH, daily chart, entry 47. So we're getting it up here. Stop at 40. So a pretty wide stop. Probably going to be in this one for a little while. This is, it looks like an all time high here. Uh, target of 60. So yeah, this is, this is one you're going to be in for a little while here. Uh, all the way up to 60. But yeah, Oof. man. This is a little bit extended, so I could see this thing kind of pulling around, chopping around, maybe coming all the way down to 40. I mean, if it does that, yeah, 50% of retracement. So this thing could definitely, I mean, there's a chance it could tag you out before it goes higher, but I mean, if going all the way down to 40, you're going to break quite a bit of support. So if it does do that, I would expect it to not work. So you shouldn't get tagged out of this, but you are probably going to be in this for a while. I mean, all the way up to 60 bucks. That's, uh, that's a, that's pretty extended up there, so six dollar move, yeah. Not bad though, definitely trending in the right direction. Definitely a strong stage two uptrend, so it could get there, but I'd just be mindful that 60 is a little ways away, 28, 30 percent away. So uh, yeah, a little bit extended there, but you got a pretty safe stop. What is it? Uh, pharmaceutical health tech pharmaceutical company so be mindful of that these things always are a little bit more whippy you get some some of these big moves so but not a bad idea nonetheless oh man there we go there's there it is apple keep it going apple come on baby all right i will update the discord with how i ended up uh managing this trade out how it ends up so like i said check out that discord if you're not already in there and with that, take care, everybody. I will see you back here tomorrow morning, 9.15 Eastern time. Get back at it, ready to roll. So take care, guys.